Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jokon Battle video. So, a few hours ago, Global got a data download for part 3 of the 350 million download celebration, which is starting in about 15 hours from now at the standard 2 a.m. Eastern or 11 p.m. Pacific. And in today's video, we're going to quickly check out everything that we got from this data download. But before we get into it, I of course have to give a big shout out to my boy, Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And with that said, let's scroll down just a little bit here. And the first thing we can see is the Extreme Z battle event for the Fizz LR Bardox Extreme Z Awakening. So there's the logo for the event. We have the uh, LR Bardock, the SSR Bardock, and also the TUR Bardock right here. So we will be facing all three forms in the event. And on top of that, there's the Extreme Z Awakening Medal for the Bardock. So I believe there's actually a bit of a time difference between the Bardock Extreme Z Battle event and the release of the other events. So from what I saw on the Dokkan Wiki, I think most of the new events for Part 3 are dropping at the standard 2 a.m. Eastern or 11 p.m. Pacific, but I think the Bardock event is actually coming out about two hours after, so that would be like 4 a.m. Eastern or 1 a.m. Pacific, so keep that in mind, okay? But uh, there's the Bardock event slash Awakening, and then from there, we have a new Extreme Z area stage, for the Int Captain Ginyu Extreme Z Awakening. So there's the stage, there's Ginyu, and then there's also the sticker mask for the Int Ginyu. And then of course we have the uh, four Extreme Z Awakening medals for Captain Ginyu as well. So once we get this, the full free-to-play Ginyu Force will be completely Extreme Z Awakened, and then we can finally test out the team as a fully Extreme Z Awakened team. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And uh, we also have a few more Extreme Z Awakenings here for the uh, Fizz Goku, the Tex Arabon, and the Doria, and also the Int Krillin slash Vegeta. So these are the Extreme Z area stages. And then we also have the sticker masks for each unit. So this of course is the Fizz Goku, and then that's the Zarabon and the Doria sticker mask. And finally we have the Krillin and Vegeta sticker mask, and then Krillin or rather Vegeta by himself, and there's the sticker mask. So yeah, uh, in total that would be one, two, three, uh, four, five Extreme Z Awakenings we're getting for part three of the uh, celebration. So from there, we have the oh Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Fizz Goku, for the Zarbon and Zatoria, and also for the Vegeta and uh, Krillin. Okay, and then there's gonna be a new explosive chain battle boss. It's just a base Goku this time. And I gotta say, when I first saw this art, he looks kind of weird to me. I mean, he still does actually. His face is just, something feels off about it. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Uh, let me know how you guys feel in the comments down below. But like, to my eyes right now, this kind of looks like a fan art Goku, you know, like something you would find on Deviant Art or something like that. I don't know if it's the same artist as always, but he just looks kind of different. Something about his face. I don't know, maybe it's just the angle. Maybe it's just the angle. The point is, new chain battle for uh, this base Goku, and I think we do have the details for the weaknesses and the advantageous categories in the news. I don't exactly remember what they are. But uh, this isn't dropping for, I think, at least like five days. So we got some time to figure it out. But there's the new Goku with the kind of weird looking face. And uh, we are, we're also getting a new Extreme Z. Or sorry, no, not Extreme Z. A new support memory, Curious Destiny, with the Bulma. And I assume that we can get this through uh, maybe the chain battle. I don't know. This, this chain battle seems kind of different because we're also getting... A new trade jewel, as you can see here, new trade jewel, and it looks similar to the regular, like, chain battle trade jewel, but it's also kind of different. 
it looks better, honestly. So I don't know what exactly this is about, but maybe uh, we get pieces of the support memory through like the treasure chest with the new trade jewels, or it could just be for like the extreme Z area or something like that. I don't know, but the point is new support memory, also new trade jewel for explosive chain battle. And on top of that, we're getting some new loading screens. So uh, I'll just give you guys a quick look here. We got, uh, got Frieza in his various forms. We have the Ginyu Force. There's one with Goku, Frieza, sorry, Vegeta, and Piccolo. And uh, we also have this, uh, oh, this is really cool. I like this, this would be a really good wallpaper. We got Krillin, Gohan, Bulma, and then a bunch of like Namek Saga stuff in the back. And then uh, another loading screen with Bardock and Frieza. This one's with Goku and full power Frieza. And then we have Goku with, uh, you know, various scenes in the back. Um, you know what? A lot of these would make really good wallpapers, to be honest. But we are getting one new wallpaper, which is none of these. But the new wallpaper is this one with uh, Frieza in the front, Goku and Vegeta in the back, and then Krillin and Gohan to the sides. And I gotta be honest, man. This is probably my least favorite out of like all the screens we've seen. Like, this would have been a much better uh, wallpaper. This would have been an insane wallpaper. They kind of make this into a wallpaper, man. It looks too good. Seriously, th this is too good to not be a wallpaper. But um, like, this would have been a better wallpaper. Like, let's be honest. Um, so I don't know what this is all about. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. But hey, I guess. Uh, what can you do? We don't make the choices. So, new wallpaper, new trade jewel, um, and apparently the AGL LR Krillin and Kid Gohan's Chinese super attack phrases were corrected. So I'm assuming there was some kind of mistake with the uh, Chinese text for the new LR Gohan and Krillin, you know, super attack, and now they fixed it. Um, I don't know what exactly the error was. I mean, I don't really read Chinese. Uh, I should, you know, given the fact that I was born in China, but I was too young to really learn how to read it, so... Uh, I, I believe Proton. I believe Proton. So they, they fixed it somehow. There you go. And that was pretty much the data download, guys. Now, before we get out of here, of course, I want to quickly go over the details for these Extremes the Awakenings. So, if you guys already know what they do, then feel free to click off the video. But if you don't, then keep watching. And let's jump over to the... Uh, oh. By the way, there is a new uh, movie for part three, like a promo movie, but I'm not gonna play it here because every time I play it, I get in trouble with YouTube and they copy track my videos. So we're not gonna play that, but you guys will see a new video or a new movie when you log in uh, later tonight. So jumping over to the Dokkan Wiki now, we have the Int Captain Ginyu Extreme Z Awakening. Lead skill will be Special Pose Category Key Plus Three. HP attack and defense plus 77% or int types key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises attack, raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and seals super attack. And then passive is attack and defense plus 170%. Key plus 3 plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when facing only one enemy. Attack plus 50% and reduces damage received by 50% when facing two or more enemies. Plus an additional attack plus 50% and disables enemy's guard when there is another Captain Ginyu. Or sorry, uh, Ginyu Force category ally on the team. That is a crazy buff on his passive. Holy crap, what was it before? Yeah, it was only 70% attack and defense before. Now he's getting 270% when facing only one enemy. Yeah, 270% attack and defense. And then on top of that, you get another 50% which is calculated separately, and disables enemy's guard with Kinyu Force um, category ally on the team. Just one other, actually. Just one other. Wow. Okay, so let me see if they have some calculations here. They don't have the calculations here, but I'm assuming um, he's getting well over, probably like close to 400% attack when facing one enemy, and you have Kinyu Force allies on the team. Uh, or at least like, I don't know, well over 300%, that's for sure. Yes, it's probably going to be something like 350 to 400% attack because of the separate calculation of this attack here. Um, dude. He's going to hit pretty hard, probably. <laughs> He's probably going to hit pretty hard. 
uh, stats now with the Extremes Awakening do get a nice bump to 13,200. And 10 attack, 13,294 uh, HP, and 8,969 defense. After these, yay. Not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. Ginyu looking really, really powerful. And then we have the Zarabon and Dodoria. Leader skill, space traveling warriors, keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or tech types, keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack, supreme damage, lower attack and defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10%, with each attack performed up to 70%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 70%, and seals the attacked enemy super attack, but there is an ally whose name includes Frieza, Frieza Soldier excluded, attacking in the same turn. Space Traveling Warriors category allies keep plus 3, attack and defense plus 30%, not bad, and attacks effective against all types when there is a Planet Namek Saga category enemy. Okay. Um, so really nice buff, uh, really big buff when you have a Frieza in the same turn, okay, nice, nice support here for Space Traveling Warriors, an attacks effective against all, against Planet Namek Saga, okay, I like it, I don't really have any issues with this one, um, let's see, their attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed is calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 291% after 7 attacks and attack and defense plus 410% with Frieza in the same turn. And for their stats, they get 13,503 attack, 7,845 defense, a little bit low but not too bad, and then 13,032 HP. Damn! Okay, another fantastic Extreme Z Awakening there. And then we have the Krillin slash Vegeta. Okay, so as Krillin, before the exchange, leader skill is uh, Planet Namek Saga, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or int types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Um, super attack raises attack and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 80%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when performing a super attack. High chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. That's 50% chance to dodge. Plus an additional uh, defense plus 40% up to 80% with each attack evaded, including super attack. And then great chance of uh, stunning the attacked enemy every time the character evaded 4 or more attacks, including super attacks. When there is another Planet Dynamic Saga category ally on the team. That's interesting, hold on. So it's great chance, which is a 70% chance of stunning the attacked enemy every time the character evaded 4 or more attacks. Oh, okay, so if you're facing Planet Namek Saga category enemies, after you evade 4 attacks during that fight, then every single attack you launch has a uh, uh, great chance, a 70% chance of stunning the enemy. I see, okay. And then uh, active skill is exchange, exchanges with another character can be activated after the character evades 4 more attacks, um, including super attacks in battle once only. Alright, so then you exchange into the Vegeta, and Vegeta, let's see, uh, Super Attack raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage, so infinitely stacking attack and defense there, love it. Uh, recovers 30% HP, attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 80%. When performing a super attack, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when there's another Planet Namek Saga category ally on the team, and survives KO attacks when HP is 30%. Or more. Ah, okay, so he's got that, uh, what do you call it? He's got that, uh, angry Kamehameha Goku effect right there. So it's not quite a survival, or, uh, it's not quite a revival skill, but it's more like a survival skill, I guess, right? So your HP is 30% or more, and you get supered, and you're about to die, or the super would have killed you, you, I think, survive with 1 HP. I think that's how it works. You survive with 1 HP, but you don't die from that super. So, uh, could be kind of useful, I guess, depending on the situation. And then, uh, yeah, you know, 120% attack and defense, additional 80% for super attacking, medium chance of launching additional super. Um, and the only condition for that is having a Planet Namek Saga category ally on the team, which is really, really easy to meet. Um, so let's see these calculations. Additional attack and defense plus 80% is calculated separately for a total boost of 296% attack and defense 
when performing a super attack. Uh, yeah, looking good, man. Looking good. All three so far. Very, very strong. And then we have the uh, Fizz Goku. So, leader skill, turtle skull, category allies, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or all types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 40%. Super attack, supreme damage, uh, raises attack and defense by 30% for 3 turns, and then attack and defense plus the 120%, raises attack and defense by up to 120, uh, uh, wait, oh, raises attack and defense by up to 120%, the less HP remaining, the greater the stats boost. So, the closer you are to dying, the more powerful this guy will be. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% at the start of each turn, up to 60%. Fully recovers HP when HP is 30% or less, once only. That's nice. That's really nice. So it's like a, a, a free Senzu Bean, basically. Um... And let's see how this calculation works for his HP. So Goku's attack and defense boost is plus 20% at 100% HP and it increases as the HP lowers. Only the HP at the start of each turn is taken into consideration. So formula is 120% minus uh, HP remaining percentage equals attack and defense boost. For example, at 50%, it's 120% minus 50% equals attack and defense plus 70%. Oh, I see. Okay, so in theory, to get that full... I guess in theory you can't really get that full 120% because you would have to be dead to get that full 120% additional boost, right? If that if that um, is how my understanding like if my understanding is correct, right? Which I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works, right? So still not bad at all, man. <laughs> not bad at all. He's getting a lot of boost. On his uh, passive and also the free like recovery here is definitely nice and look at his stats here 13,710 attack 16,211 HP and 8,122 defense so very solid stats for a free to play unit and lastly we have this Bardock who I already went through the details for yesterday but in case you guys missed the video Let's just quickly check it out one more time. So, leader skill is Super Fizz types, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, Extreme Fizz key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage, and greatly lowers defense, Ultra Super raises defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and seals super attack. Passive is attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack plus 20%, at the start of each turn, up to 59%, plus an additional attack plus 40% when performing an ultra super attack, key plus 6 when facing only one enemy, key plus 4, plus an additional defense plus 70% when facing two or more enemies, plus an additional key plus 12 and attack plus 100% once only, and performs a critical hit when there is an enemy whose name includes Frieza, Frieza Soldier excluded. Alright, so, um... Like I said yesterday, man, I think it's a really, really good Extreme Z Awakening. I don't think he's, like, the best EZA we've seen, but he's definitely going to be much more useful than before. He's going to hit really hard, um, especially against Frieza's, and uh, he's going to get some good defense, which is, you know, definitely something he was missing before. So, yeah, I really, really like this EZA. I really do, along with all the other EZAs. I mean, these days, they don't really miss with EZAs. I think for the most part, they've like figured out exactly what people are looking for when it comes to new Extreme Z Awakenings. So good job to Bandai once again for this one, for this one, and also these ones as well. And there you go, guys. That is the Extreme Z, or sorry, that is the data download for today, or the global data download update for uh, September... 22nd, 2021. Big shout out once again to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting the assets. Go follow him if you aren't already already doing so. And uh, that's all I gotta say, man. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.